good morning to your Grenada, Cary, Cooper, Martinique, and the rest of the Eastern Caribbean, the world. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to another edition of a Good Morning Grenada here on Key 105 and a Hot 98. How's everybody doing? Hope all is well with you and yours this morning. And uh, got my co-host this morning. Uh, somehow uh, he's within his, his uh, remote studios this morning. Let's go over and say good morning to Gary. Gary, good morning. How you doing, my brother? What's going on, brother? Everything's good on your end? Yes, all is well done on my end. All is well on my end. What about you? What about you this morning? I find you a little hey, bit laid back. Man. I find you a little bit laid back this morning for some reason. You're a little bit laid back. What's up? What's up with you this morning? I don't know, man. I Again, sleep was... Was not on my side, man. Sleep was not on my side last night, but mm. hey, I'm gonna make it through, man. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a, a a beautiful day today, nonetheless. Well, we are we are we are hoping for that. We are hoping for that. So, folks, it's good morning, Grenada here on the K105 and the Hot 98. Good morning to uh, those of you joining us via GBN TV, uh, those of you via the various uh, social media platforms, YouTube, uh, Facebook. Good morning. Uh, certainly hope all is well with everyone this morning. Hey, you got an interesting show lined up for you this morning. Lots happening, lots happening, lots happening here and there. Bits of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Uh, we're going to share with you. You know, we usually have, a, of course, the, the word of the day, the thought of the day. Uh, we have for you that little trivia we show it from, from time to time in terms of your health. And uh, of usual, that little riddle we pop in from time to time, Gary. Hope, certainly hope uh, it's a tr an interesting one we do have lined up this morning. And uh, get Nothing everyone. Nothing different today. Same thing. Same thing? <laughs> anyway. Nothing different. Hey, let's kick in with the word of the day. You have a go, for, you have a go, Gary. Let's get set with the word of the day. The word of the day is Tola. S-T-O-L-A. It's a noun. And Stola is a long draped robe worn by women of ancient Rome. Now, the traditional garment worn by women in ancient Rome was the Stola. Men wore the corresponding toga. Toga. All right. Now, Stola, in context, you can say Lady Liberty is dressed in a free flowing robe called a Stola. Over the Stola, she's wearing a cloak called a Pala which is uh, fastened or uh, fastened by a clasp on her left shoulder all right just a little uh sentence in which you can use the word stola all right so that gives you an example of how you can uh, incorporate the word stola if ever you uh come across uh an opportunity to do that s-t-o-l-a stola all right, uh, that was your word of the day for today. Interesting word day, you know. Some of these words at times, I, 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 I listen to, of course, when you, when you, of course, give details about them, and uh, hey, wonder how so you could use them at times in everyday life. You understand? It anyway. may never be a word you may use. Mm -hmm. You may never have to use it, but at least you know <laughs> what it is. It exists. <laughs> it yeah, exactly. Exists. <laughs> hey, let's get into the thought of the day here on uh, this morning on Good Morning Grenada. And uh, of course, for uh, our TV audience, this is what the word, that's the word, the, the thought of the day for today. Sorry works when a mistake is made, but not when trust is broken. So in life, Make mistakes, but never break a trust. Because forgiving is easy, but forgetting and trusting again is something impossible. Get some thought to that. Uh, that's a thought of the day for today. Uh, may I repeat it again for those who probably missed uh, it, the video, especially in, in Radio Land. Uh, those of you on TV, you're viewing it and you're absorbing it just a wee bit. Sorry works when a mistake is made, but not when trust is broken. So in life, make mistakes, but never break a trust. Because forgiving is easy, but forgetting and trusting again is something impossible. That's your thought of the day for today. And uh, certainly hope you could uh, gauge it to light through the day today. And, uh, you know, hey, I, I, I may not want to make the mistake of breaking someone's trust. You know, Gary, trust yeah, is a thing that you, you don't want to do that with someone at all. Yeah, it's one thing to, to, to be sorry and to make a mistake, but to, um, to actually lose the trust in someone. 
That's that's, right. that's a no good situation there. You can it's see it's almost that. impossible for someone to it's, it, it, put yourself in a relationship scenario. Mm -hmm. You ever notice that women, for ten years down the road, they would always keep throwing that the same mistake you would have made mm -hmm. five years ago. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? There is no end to it. You know what I mean? <laughs> because sorry, ladies, I had to use that as an example. <laughs> you broke that trust, man. You broke that trust, <laughs> and uh, they never, oh, they, they will just never forgive you for that. Just never forgive you for that. So hey, mm -hmm. make your little mistakes, but don't 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 break the trust. You understand? Don't break the trust. Keep don't that trust strong mm -hmm. as always, man. Hey, let's get into your health tip for today. Mm -hmm. uh, Gigi, when was the last time you ate a mango, boy? Well, it's out of season for me. You understand? And I'll see that. Well, fortunately see for me, mm -hmm. fortunately for me, um, there are some mangoes in and around my community. Well, lucky that, you. Uh, that's blossoming right about now. Yeah. Well. All right, so I'm looking forward to a very, very fruitful mango season. Well, yeah. it's not quite the mango season as yet, but you know there are some one, two uh, trees mm -hmm. that you can pick some mangoes off off season. All, All right. right. All and right. That's definitely my case right here. I had a nice Julie mango a couple of days ago. Lucky you, man. Still Lucky you. Yeah. So mangoes are good for you, you know. Mangoes are useful for uh, for good eyesight, mm -hmm. aids in, uh, in in brain development, beneficial for the memory and concentration. It also helps in the protection of red blood cells in the body. It also king of fruits. Also helps in building strong immune system. Of course, mango is king of fruits. Everybody knows that, right? Yes. There's a song called "I Love You Like Mango." Mm. Now that's a that's that 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 is a strong love right there. And yeah. finally, mango also help in fighting bacterial infection. So eat up and love upon your mangoes, my friends, whenever you get the opportunity to do so. I will encourage that a whole lot. Uh, we got your health trivia coming up. You, you being the health enthusiast, man, you know, you know, I like to leave you to, to take care of those things. You, 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 you have that passion for it. It's not that I don't, but uh, I, I, I leave that up to you. Let's do, let's let's get into your health, that little bit of trivia this morning. Well, I missed my health trivia for today. For some reason, it's not. We're talking uh, about the. the well, well, I think I have it before me for some reason or the other, and that's the. Well, let's uh, see if I can pull it. That's up. the the minimize sugar intake. Oh and yes, 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 yes. That's that's a bit of uh, that help. Uh, that a little bit of trivia we're gonna do. There. We do have one also. I uh, know uh, about um, what's it? The watermelon. Well, that is a riddle. That's your riddle. What do we? The, the, yeah, the, we the, okay, well, let's let's learn. So I give away the answers, boy. <laughs> jump it, jump it, jump into the trivia. Let's Someone, let's let's, let's, let's take, a, take a, like a peek at the uh, the trivia this morning, our health trivia, and see how it's pertaining to uh, uh, the minimized use of sugar intake. And uh, of course, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to throw that up for those of you via uh, TV shortly. But those of you listening in, in regular, good morning. Minimize sugar intake. Sugar adds sugar. Add, let's just say added sugar is one of the worst ingredients. Uh, ingredients per se in the uh, modern diet a large amount can harm your metabolic health Sh high sugar intake is linked to numerous ailments uh, including uh, obesity diabetes heart disease etc so take a, a note of that minimize sugar intake all right and uh, you know folks Man. you know there are folks who, who can't do it. Out. Have you ever seen youngsters who, who who had something sweet for the day and you see that they're, they're, they're spiking their energy? Uh, there are yeah, it's adults a culture, who. We, it's a culture mm -hmm. we in. It's a culture where we figure that, you know, we need sugar, but sugar is an acquired taste. Many years ago, a doctor mm -hmm. said that to me and it never made sense until uh, recently. Sugar is an acquired taste. When you really think about it, we did not grow up. Mm -hmm. our, our poor parents did not really grow up on sugar in it. I know they did not really grow up on sugar. That is something since after the the plant the sugar can, the sugar cane plantation, mm. the, 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 that love for for sugar developed. All right, mm. and uh, much much so to our demise. So I know. my friends, if we can reduce sugar, the best way avoid giving your kids candies. I know some kids, some schools have uh, you know you know stopped selling sweet tooth delights in the schools. Mm -hmm. You know things like candies and so forth. They've they've stopped or minimized uh, the availability ability of those uh those those stuff in school so that's kudos to to, to 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 the ministry and you know the schools for having made that decision but yeah definitely you want to minimize on your sugar intake as best as you can if not totally eliminated you ain't gonna die i know you know i i per se gary it's been a number of years now that i don't use sugar period 
You understand? That's that's good. That that's good. It's a number of years now. I I don't use sugar, uh, you know. And and in the in the first couple of years of of stopping using it for some reason or the other, because uh, my father per se he he was diabetic, and somehow that that triggered me a couple of years. It's been more than twenty years now where I just don't it just don't put me out. I I yeah. can consume yeah. any beverage or anything that is sugarless, and it's like a normal way of 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 using anything yeah. without sugar, and it doesn't yeah. bother me at all. For some I've folks, they just need that little sugar. Yeah, yeah. Nearly a year now, I've been going without sugar. Almost. You've been a year. Imagine. A year. You do it no a year. Sugar. I'm doing 20 years. So I'm ahead of you in something, wow. I would say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ahead of you in something. Hey, the time, time is on our side this morning. Let's see if we could get that riddle in pretty quickly. So when we come back on the other side, uh, we could actually uh, get the answers from our viewing and uh, listeners this morning. Let's see how quickly we could uh, pop in with the, of course, the, the riddle this morning. Gary, Gary you want to have a go at the riddle? Green. Mm. Yeah, it looks green. Green. It looks green. It opens red. What you eat is red, but what you spit out is black. What am I? Once mm. again, it looks green. It opens red. Um, what you eat is red, but what you spit out is black. What am I? Give it some yes, thought, folks. We have some you know, smarty pants out there. Let's get let's get your answers to that one. Hey, folks, we're moving up to exactly uh, make that uh, 17 minutes moving up before the top of the hour this morning here on K105 and Hot 98. It's good morning, Grenada. Are uh, we getting set for the news here on K105 and Hot 98 over on the uh, GBN TV? Getting set for a rebroadcast of Love Evenings and Newscast. So, on we come back on the other side, folks, and uh, we certainly will take your answers for the riddle and so forth. We're getting to the uh, celebrations club. If you're celebrating, good morning. We will shout you out. Are we coming right back? Hey, don't touch your dial. Stay with us here on Good Morning Grenada. And now for the news in detail, we start this evening with news that the U.S. government has announced a project to help Grenada and other Caribbean islands tackle challenges related to COVID-19. This comes as three agencies present findings on a survey on vaccine hesitancy in the region. Rena Pierre-Thomas tells us more. Deputy Chief of Mission in the U.S. Embassy Barbados, David China, has renewed the U.S. government's commitment to assist the Caribbean in the fight against COVID-19. He was speaking at a virtual press conference last Friday to present the findings of a survey on COVID-19 vaccine hesitancy in the Caribbean. Since May 2020, the United States government through USAID has supported the Eastern Caribbean region the Bahamas, Guyana, Suriname, and Trinidad and Tobago, with $7.5 million of assistance, of which $2.5 million came from the American Rescue Plan for Vaccine Readiness. In partnership with governments and stakeholders, the United States is committed to assisting Caribbean countries to overcome vaccine hesitancy. We are proud to work with our partners gathered here today to achieve this goal. The survey conducted in Barbados, Dominica, Grenada, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines and the Trinidad and Tobago will now create a solid foundation in implementing plans and programs to enhance their fight against the dreaded COVID-19 virus, attracting more confidence in the vaccination process. In a late 2021, U.S. Embassy Bridgetown hosted a Facebook Live event to combat COVID-19 vaccine hesitancy, inviting the people of Barbados and the Caribbean to ask questions of respected public health professionals. What we learned correlates closely to the data gathered from the vaccine hesitancy survey today, which in the Caribbean region, as you know, is mainly rooted in individual concerns about the safety of the vaccines, includes misconceptions and misinformation about the secondary effects of the vaccines. More than 5,000 people participated in the survey. The survey was conducted by the Caribbean Development Research Services one year after countries administered the vaccine to fight the pandemic. Fighting this pandemic will take significant resources and an urgent collective effort among governments, civil society, the private sector, multilateral organizations, and international partners. A coordinated approach like the one we're taking is critical up to a, an equitable uptake throughout the region and to muster the speed needed to get ahead of concerns that are driven by an unvaccinated population. <laughs> 
Over 30,000 Pfizer vaccines were distributed in the Caribbean by the U.S. government in December 2021. For GBN News, I am Rina Pear Thomas reporting. As Rina mentioned, vaccine hesitancy was examined through the 2021 survey carried out in October and November in six countries, and Grenada was among the countries. UNICEF and USAID commissioned the survey to better understand the rationale for the limited uptake of the COVID-19 vaccines. Communication strategies need to speak to key concerns, target the demographic profile of the unvaccinated, and hone the use of non-governmental personalities and influencers were some of the recommendations made coming from the 2021 Vaccine Hesitancy Survey report. Grenada was the second least vaccine hesitant country in 2021 based on the Vaccine Hesitancy Index used among the six participating countries. The COVID-19 Vaccine Hesitancy Survey Report for 2021 for Grenada shows that only one in five respondents agreed to have their children vaccinated against COVID-19 at the primary level, while less than half for secondary students. The Grenada survey was conducted face-to-face -face with 800 participants, evenly spread across males and females, and three age ranges. Notably, Grenada recorded the highest COVID-related unemployment level at 15% among the six countries. 60% of respondents in Grenada report having been vaccinated, noting the reasons for initial vaccine hesitancy were a lack of trust in the vaccines on account of the speed of their development and uncertainty over long-term side effects. According to the report, the major factors that convinced respondents to get vaccinated were speaking to their doctor at 14% or feeling that they were forced to do so at 13%. The data from the survey shows that most vaccinated respondents in Grenada believe in a vaccine mandate for a wide range of people, except for primary school students. Distrust in vaccines, 16%, and choosing not to, 25%, were the main reasons for being unvaccinated, while the report also highlighted if unvaccinated respondents' views on taking a vaccine had changed over time. 61% of the unvaccinated said no, though 28 said they were now more inclined to get vaccinated, and 11% said they were less inclined to do so. Supplemental strategies were also suggested to consider the risk to vulnerable groups, and in respect of young and unemployed persons, consider promoting infotainment products that might reach this audience. I am Jerry Joseph for GBN News. The International Monetary Fund, the IMF, has been forced to follow in the footsteps of organizations worldwide. It has conducted its annual economic review of Grenada without setting foot on the island. This year's review was done virtually as the pandemic continues to restrict movement. The fund says Grenada is showing signs of evolving from the doldrums which have pervaded the economic atmosphere since COVID struck two years ago. The Grenadian government has been complimented for its comprehensive response in limiting the impact of the pandemic as a team from the International Monetary Fund met virtually with local officials last week. Recent economic developments, a follow-up on policy priorities raised in 2019, and the 2020 request for disbursement under the Rapid Credit Facility were major issues up for discussion. The IMF team, led by Hayden Lin, highlighted that the Grenadian economy expected expansion of real output by around 5% in 2022. At the end of the mission, the IMF lead noted that food, fuel and transport prices are expected to continue pushing up inflation, also reflecting the impact of strained global supply chains. Ms. Lin stated that the current account deficit has widened as weak tourism receipts, higher fuel prices, and import demands from construction offset the recovery in agricultural exports. Pointing to a prolonged pandemic as the main risk, she cited implications for tourism and students' return to SGU, while strongly hinting to slow vaccination rates as a determining factor which can lead to additional spending, exacerbating fiscal and external imbalances. The IMF team welcomed the fiscal measures taken to provide relief to Grenadians within the two stimulus packages as well as the budget. 
Mislin noted that the hard-won credibility of Grenada's fiscal framework can be further enhanced through continued efforts to strengthen Grenada's administration, public investment management, and fiscal governance and transparency. For GBN News, Janelle MacDonald. And let's revisit the weekend. We have a report on two being treated and released. Two people were, are back at home following a close call on the weekend. They were knocked down on Saturday night in the Wall Street area as they were attempting to cross the road. According to police, both individuals were taken to the General Hospital where they were treated and discharged. The driver of the bus remained on the scene until the police arrived. Sergeant Kevin Williams, who is in charge of the traffic department, South St. George Police Station, described it as an extremely busy weekend. I must say specifically an accident which had occurred on Saturday evening about 9 p.m. about. It happened along the Wall Street area that's in Grand Dance, and it involved it involved a minibus, one of these old one minibus and uh, two pedestrians. The minibus was traveling from the sugar mill direction and upon reaching the Wall Street area. Um, unfortunately, there was a collision with two passengers who were trying to cross the road. Uh, minor injuries was caused to the passengers. Uh, in fact, the ambulance would have arrived and carried them to the seat medical attention and please are uh, waiting at the general hospital and um, they were treated and discharged. Both parties were treated and discharged. This is Network News. Still to come from us, we will tell you what people have been saying through the social buzz segment. And we'd also be putting something interesting through the eye saw lens. You won't want to miss those. Do stay with us. And welcome back. People here have been paying final respects to the late Governor General Sir Carla Glynn C. GCMG, a stalwart who served Grenada with distinction and integrity. Rena Peer Thomas reports. Government officials, politicians, friends and family assembled on Monday to view the body of the late Sir Carlisle Glean, GCMG, lying in state at Parliament Building at Mount Weldale. Sir Carlisle, who served Grenada as the fifth Governor General of Grenada from 2008 to 2013, will be afforded a state funeral. Looking back on the legacy of the former GG, Chairman of Spice Mass Corporation and Ambassador to CARICOM, Ali Gill, said Sir Carlisle's contribution not only benefited Grenada, but the Caribbean. Sir Carlisle was the first lecturer at the University of the West Indies with regards to the teaching of social studies. And he worked along with social studies tutors in, throughout the OECS and Barbados. And he was also very instrumental in developing the, the teaching schemes and the marking schemes for social studies at the Caribbean Examination Council, popularly referred to as CXC. So not only Sir Carly has made his contribution to education in Grenada, but Sir Carly Glean certainly was a trailblazer of education in the Caribbean. Also reminiscing on the input of the late Gigi was Prime Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell. He said the impact of Sir Carlisle will never be forgotten. I, it's a, of course a difficult day for all of us because when one was done well for us and is, um, is leaving us, it's uh, the one that makes emotions, knowing that he's going to his, his heavenly father. But at the same time, knowing that he is leaving us, it's, it's got to be tough for the family members that are here with us today and for all of us in the Grenada Car Company, Martinique. So I'm um, honored on behalf of the government and people of the country to pay a special tribute and to view Sir Carly resting today. Acting Governor General Sir Lawrence Joseph also looked back on the legacy of Sir Carlisle. He made significant contribution to education. And to me, as I told my wife, he was a good man. And uh, I admire him for that. Despite our political differences, we had a very good relationship. And he has left an indelible mark on the society of Grenada. 
the family of Sir Carlisle will host an evening prayer session, followed by tributes on Monday, 17 January at 6 p.m. at the St. Peter's Catholic Church in Guave. The funeral is scheduled for 1 p.m. on Tuesday, 18 January at St. Peter's Catholic Church in Guave, St. John, after which his body will be entombed at the Douglaston Cemetery. For GBN News, I am Rena Pear Thomas reporting. May his soul rest in peace. Moving on this evening, the Grenada Food and Nutrition Council is expanding its food bank initiative with additional support from the Food and Agriculture Organization, the FAO, and the Ministry of Agriculture. Let's get details on this initiative from GBN's Kristalina John. The Food Bank Initiative is instrumental towards the establishment of the National Parliamentary Front Against Hunger Secretariat. Under the project, the Food and Agricultural Organization is working with the Grenada Food and Nutrition Council to develop a strategic action plan that will allow for the Food Bank's expansion, an initiative that supports vulnerable families monthly with nutritious, locally produced foods as a means of promoting healthy eating habits. Created multiple vouchers. We have formed collaborations with Andal and Associates as well as the Marketing and National Importing Board. Each voucher is valued at $75. At the back of the voucher, there's a list of approved food items. The council has chosen items that we believe are nutritious while also local. So this initiative will benefit our farmers as well as the, uh, the beneficiaries. Persons are required to present their ID cards, walk with their vouchers, and they collect the food items as long as it's approved on the list. 130 families are expected to benefit from this initiative. Beneficiaries include antenatal women, elderly persons with chronic diseases, as well as persons under the support initiative of the National Food and Nutrition Council. Vouchers, according to Frank, are dependent on the number of persons residing in a household. The number of $75 vouchers that a family receives will depend on the size of the family. So larger families receive up to six vouchers, and then the smaller families, four vouchers. So as you see, that can go quite a long way, 75 by 4, you have $300 worth of food. Our intention is to keep this project going. The Food Bank Initiative also contributes to economic activity by supporting local farmers and producers, while at the same time allowing for an appreciation for local food and its nutritional benefits. The interventions under this Food Bank Initiative are consistent with the UN Sustainable Development Goal, the SDG2, which relates to the ending of hunger, achievement of food security, and national improvement, along with the promotion of sustainable agriculture. The consultants are expected to work with the GFNC, a statutory body of the Ministry of Agriculture, to develop a program to integrate the elements which will form a comprehensive and sustainable strategy for eradicating hunger and malnutrition. Grenada has joined a list of other countries the FAO has worked with to establish a parliamentary fronts against hunger. The aim is for both government and opposition through a bipartisan parliamentary motion to express a commitment and work together towards reducing hunger to zero in their countries. Chris Lina John, GB. Thanks, Chris, for that report. And now the dynamic performances. They've received wide acclaim, as many identified with their Grenadian heritage as the Grenada Day celebrations went into full effect over the weekend at Dubai Expo. Gerard Joseph has that story. <laughs> to be Ignatian and this is giving me chills and bringing tears to my eyes were just a drop in the ocean of comments as a contingent of musicians and artists represented Grenada during the Grenada Day celebrations at the Dubai Expo. 
full time Goofy Monarch Shondell Dasha Madi and Tamara St. Bernard Nichols, also known as the Songbird, displayed the levels of talent Grenada has to offer. of the national songs brought goosebumps to many who were seemingly inspired by the cultural identity resonating from the various presentations and performances. Grenada, the land of my birth, were further personified by the outfits and even more so as spectators, citizens locally and in the diaspora, Rock to No Place Sweeter Than Home by Elimus Gilbert which was performed by Dash. <laughs> Poetry and dance were not left out of the performances. The ancestors lived good in the beginning. A motherland so great. Before thieves who thought they were God's king. Raping her. Robbing her of her children and her future. Captured. Held hostage. Backstabbed and beaten only to endure more suffering. Governor General of Grenada, Her Excellency Dame Cecilia Bernard, and Minister for Foreign Affairs and International Business and CARICOM Affairs, Oliver Joseph, were some of the officials at the Grenada Day celebrations in Dubai Expo 2020. I am Gerard Joseph for GBN News. that we've had splendid representation at the Dubai Expo. And now let's go to a lighter moment. Let's see what's happening under the ISO lens. Reporter expressed concern as it relates to the dumping of garbage at Mount Panassas. Our ISO reporter says, quote, this does not look good at the Mount Panassas junction. Solid waste removed the garbage bin, but people continue to add their dump, unquote. Our ISO reporter urges the people of the community to, quote, do better, unquote. We thank our ISO reporter for raising awareness with their submission. Send us your photo and video submissions via WhatsApp on 405 3052 or our other social media platforms. Still to come from us this evening, the Bain B coordinators lament limited participation from outer Paris schools. Brain B, it's time to get clicking. And this is Network News as always. Thanks for staying with us. We say a special hello to our listeners on K105. And this evening, we start off this segment with a look at a segment of the brain. We're getting ready for Brain B. And the coordinators are hoping more students in older parishes will participate. Let's look at that in this report. A request for the business community to support the National Brain Bee Competition was made as participants shift into gear for the national competition schedule for March. The first round, which is the zonal competition, is set for next week, Tuesday. 25 students are in the lineup. Blackett explained where they are in terms of preparation. We have reached the point where we have done registration. But because of the number of children, we only had 25 children registered for six schools. So we decided to pass them through and let them go to the zonal competition. So our zonal competition would be on the 27th of January at the St. George's Baptist Church at 3 o'clock. Reasons for this, they have... a. Uh, IT lab with about 15 to 20 computers so the children have access so we will be doing the exam more or less online than a face-to-face. -face. 
Most of the competitors are from schools in and around the parish of St. George. Blockett says she believes the reason for less participation from the outer parishes is the online concept students are not accustomed to. To be honest with you, I think that online, I think our students in Grenada has not really grasp the concept quite well as yet to manage all of these online. In the other countries, some of the competition already years gone by before this COVID situation were already doing online screening and zonal competition before they enter the competition. So they were accustomed to it, but our students are just getting into it. She explained one of the biggest challenges as the preparation continues. One of the one of the biggest challenges that students are saying that they have online classes, a lot of online classes. So in order to accommodate the brain beats, kind of is a lot for some of them. But some of them is pulling through to it nicely, and we are very grateful for those who have signed up, registered, and still planning to enter to the into the competition. And then we look forward for finally soon. We're not sure we'll be going to France or we'll do virtual IBV this year again like last year. The Brain B coordinator says the competition has helped a number of students decide their career path, which in most cases has materialized. She encourages the competitors to study hard as only 15 from the list of 25 will be selected for the national competition. The National Brain B competition targets students between the ages of 13 to 18 that are in forms 3, 4 and 5. Christina John, GBN News. And let's see what some of you have been saying on social media through the nightly social buzz segment. We present the news. You analyze the various topics and distill the issues as they unfold. Your distillation points matter as we're about to highlight them in our social buzz report. GBN featured a video on its Facebook page of an accident along the Wall Street area of Grand Dance. St. George Saturday night and many of you, our online audience, took to the comment section to air your views. Ellis Williams commented, I am absolutely staggered at the speed people are driving in Grenada, way over the speed limit. This needs to be addressed. I feel very unsafe walking on the roads for fear of similar incident. Please drivers, Grenada don't have the roads for speeding. Slow down. Judy Joseph Noel says, see how we get him bad back? Why are they bending like that? Moving and handling training needed. Speedy recovery recovery to the injured ladies. Cyril Cyrus added, all you do tired complain about speeding in Grenada. You can't teach old dogs new tricks. Keshawn Andrews says, Grenadians don't drive anymore, they fly. Jonathan Joseph issued a reminder that the highway code is not only for drivers. And finally, Glenroy St. Louis is hoping for their speedy recovery. That's a wrap for tonight's buzz. Continue to share your thoughts and concerns with us on our social media media platforms.
so much to see. Every corner I turn, there's something there to remind me of my beautiful nation and what it means to me. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and we should be back with the Good Morning Grenada uh, via the various platforms. Good morning, whether it's uh, GBN TV, good morning to our viewers there. Uh, let's say good morning also to uh, those of you viewing via Facebook. Uh, if you're on that platform, good morning. Whatever part of the world you, you chosen to view us via uh, Facebook, good morning. Those of you uh, via YouTube, uh, that's your favorite platform, and you're there with us this morning. Uh, thanks for making us your choice. Hey, got my co-host and me as usual. Once again, good morning to my good brother, Gary. How you doing? It's G Squared in the morning time and getting yes. folks up and running yeah can i can i can i say it that way getting folks up and running yeah up and running in the morning time for those of you getting ready to go to work for, mm. for eight o'clock you got some time on your hand don't squander it make the best use of it big up to all those uh of course driving and on the road right about now take it easy we had some nice overnight showers boy yes 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 even early this nice. morning even early this nice. morning we had nice. some we had some uh, showers this morning a little after 4am 4am mission we we, uh, we had some uh showers that that, that that felt good on the side man you know i was saying a while ago gary you know uh, there are folks who are probably commuting this morning from saint patrick all the way down to the uh, parish of saint george and uh, saint george's would say and um we just want to wish them all the best. And sometimes it takes two, sometimes three buses to get them to their, their workplace. You know, there are folks who actually do that. And who go vice versa, like yeah. people who leave St. George's and go all the way back up to St. Patrick. You understand? Yeah, it's, in, uh, in it's terms of our work. Do it, yeah. Especially given the traffic diversion, mm -hmm, no? mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the area. Man. It makes commuting down that side, that western side, a nightmare. Ah, you know? It's a toughie. But some folks just have to do what they have to do, right? They just have to do what they have to do. And, um, definitely, definitely. You know, in terms of uh, letting ends meet, you can say that. Hey, we getting for the birthday list, Gary. Yeah, we getting ready for the birthday. Let's get into the birthday. Let's get into the let's birthday, get into birthday, birthday list. Birthday. So we come back with chit chat about, of course, the we give you the COVID update. We update uh, cruise ship in port today. We'll talk about that, that also. But let's get into the birthday list. A lengthy list this morning, Gary. Boy, boy. Should I let you kick Wait. it off this morning? Uh, he be bowling uh, there. Don't, 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 mind, don't, mind, don't, don't mind if I do. All you right, go, you, you go with it. For it. Let's get straight into the birthday list. Anissa Charles of Pearl St. Andrew, happy birthday to you. Uh, Tyrese uh, Elias of Boca, St. George, happy birthday. Jillian Etienne uh, resides in the Tobago. Hey, good morning to my friends inside of Tobago. What's going on? I haven't been down that style. I used to go down to Tobago every summer. Hey, good morning to my friends over, over there in Tobago. Um, is it Ikel Wells of Bylands? Or Ikel Wells of Bylands, a bus conductor coming from, of course, his friend, uh, Kathian. Happy birthday to you, man. Uh, Judy George of uh, Ben... Menoka? Is that David's? Uh, never heard Menoka? about it. Never heard of it. Is it my Roka? Never heard of my Roka. <laughs> Um, <laughs> never heard of that place. Uh, oh. Forgive me. Employee at the emergency unit 
are the energy unit in the financial complex. Uh, Oliver Charles, all right, of uh, Adelphi, a well-known plumber, coming from his wife Janelle, sons of uh, sons Okan and Jordan, and other family members and friends. Also, a uh, happy birthday to Michelle Pilgrim of Belmont St. George, Sebastian McIntyre of Upper Capital, Brudge Grove, St. Andrew, coming from his son, brothers and sisters. Happy birthday, Colleen Pierre of Windsor Forest, St. David, coming from her mother and brother, sisters, and other members and friends, other family members and friends. Uh, uh, Bernadine Levine of the Housing Scheme Grand Dance. Happy birthday to you. Augustus Lessie, a.k.a. A. Cock of Byland, St. Andrew. Uh, Coleman Griffith, attached to, uh, attached to GBN. Coleman, what's going on? Happy birthday. All right. And uh, Quasi Alexander, student of St. David's Secondary, uh, coming from, of course, uh, uh, Quelisa Alexander, I might have butchered that name a bit, forgive me, student of the Anakin High and twin of uh, Mama Khan in St. Andrew. Uh, GTLA, you continue from there. Certainly no problem there. Let me say good morning to Margaret Alexander. How are you doing this morning of Chantamel? Family members and friends, especially her son, Shannon Al, this morning, wishing her a happy birthday. Let's say good morning to Jazaria. Jazaria Monroe, who they, lives in uh, Toronto, Canada. Good morning. 10 years old today. Good morning to her from her uh, grandmom. That's Evelyn here. Let's say good morning and happy birthday going out to Roxanne Mitchell of Grand Bra. Roxanne, good morning. Happy birthday. Frank and Frank. Frankie Gordon of Paraclete, they are twins. Good morning and happy birthday from uh, Mommy Dear, Ellen, Aki, uh, Miss Moran. Wishing uh, you guys a happy birthday. Terry Charles of Coles Gaps and Davis, how are you doing this morning? Happy birthday. Uh, suddenly, all the best on your birthday today from members of the family. Uh, Stephen Francois of River Sally St. Patrick, how are you doing this morning? Happy birthday, man. Uh, Kieran Mitchell of Florida and St. John, 16 years old today. How are you doing? It's your B day. Hope you're having a, a lovely morning and hope that your day rolls out uh, to be a perfect one. Let's say good morning also to Romeo, Romeo Bastaldo of New Hampshire. Uh, greetings going out to him this morning from his mom Cleopatra and uh, other members of the family. Let's say good morning to Oskai, Oskai Barry of the Villa in St. Mark. Oskai, good morning. How are you doing? Happy birthday. Janice Salfali of Marin and St. John and uh, her two sons, they, they shall out this morning. A dear friend, Wilfred, he's also popping in and wishing her happy birthday. Anderson Charles of Blairs actually reside in the Lamode area in St. Patrick. Uh, good morning to you and uh, he he works at LA Procell. Goodness, good on him this morning from my dear sister Jesse. Wishing him all the best. Let's say good morning to uh, that's uh, Rhonda Grizzly of Moran and St. John and her husband Kenny, her sons Kevin and Ken Roy. Uh, good morning, Inspector Raymond Matthew, the beast. Good morning, sir. Long time don't see, man. All the best on uh, your birthday. Let's say good morning to Henry Fortune of Rukane and St. David uh, celebrating Amanda uh, Brasher, who's in uh, Trinidad. Good morning to you. Amanda and uh, family members and friends from the Spice House shouting you out this morning, wishing you a lovely day. Let's say good morning to uh, that's uh, Femila, Femila, yes, uh, Femila Wilkie of Moran in St. John. Femila, good morning, how are you doing? Family members, uh, especially the Mary Show uh, family, shouting you out this morning, wishing you a happy birthday. Doyle Mitchell, Gary, I'm rolling still. Uh, Doyle Mitchell of Paraclete in St. Andrew, uh, well known shopkeeper, good morning and happy birthday. I'm thinking to grab a couple more before. I turn over to Gary. Let's say good morning to Patsy Leslie Ann George of Telescope. How are you doing this morning, Patsy? Her children and grandchildren. Extended love to her this morning. Irene Frank of La Tente in St. David. How are you doing, Irene? Happy birthday to you from your uh, grandchildren. Uh, dear friend, that's Miss Lorna Fletcher. Shelling you out this morning. Uh, wishing, wishing you a happy birthday. Ruth McEwen of uh, Brooklyn in the Concord. Uh, Valerie and other family members and friends. And Gary, I'm going to take this one and you continue the rest. Let's say good morning to Deanne, uh, Dean. Uh, that's Deanne. Let me get that right. Simeon of uh, Jean Anglais. Good morning and happy birthday to you. Uh, the St. Louis family in Brooklyn Concord is wishing you a happy, happy, happy birthday. It's over to you, Gary. I want to continue with uh, the, the rest. Uh, it's pretty lengthy this morning. I'll grab a, a few more if time permits. Uh, so you go, you roll it. Veronica, Veronica Alexander, a.k.a. Sister V of Prospect Hall Village, Kariku, coming from her husband, children, and uh, teacher, Carl Humphrey. Yeah. Anthony McQueen, a.k.a. Drix of La Fortune. All right. Coming from, of course, uh, Miss Merle's Cot. Happy birthday. 
uh, Ricky Belmar in the US of A coming from the Ventu and Belmar families and Abby Antoine of Windsor Forest attached to Andal and Associates Parade Leslie and Williams of Hermitage St. Patrick coming from her mother, father and Mr. Pearl's man Kumi, Kumi Charles of Marley, St. Patrick teacher of Bonaire government uh, Naomi Lewis of uh, Boca resides in Pedmata, student of St. Louis RC School, coming from her mother Irva, father Devon Gilbert, brothers Brendan, Sheldon, and Rondell, sister Tonika, and relatives and friends. Also, uh, say happy birthday to Joylyn Williams of Paraclete and her son, coming from members of her home circle and Mami Dear and family. Cinda uh, Dagon or Dagon, aka Auntie Finn in the USA, coming from her goddaughter, uh, uh, Jeanette and Dolores, Daltress and Jensen. Also, Sheldon Callisto uh, Vendum, St. George, coming from his father, Alban, and mother, Bernadette. Stefton Lewis of Pearl St. Andrew. That's coming from his mother, T Tasha, brothers Andrew and Jordan. G uh, uh, GTI let you kick off from, from, from there. Finish it off, if you will. Yeah, I'll, I'll grab like the, the rest of the names on the list this morning. Gary, uh, as I mentioned this morning, wow, what a lengthy list it is this morning. Let's say good morning to Agnes Richard, also known as Tanti of Monks Williams in the St. Patrick. Greetings going on to this morning from her children. That's Denroy, Jude, and uh, Sharon. Uh, they all wish her a happy birthday today. Let me say good morning also and happy birthday. Greetings going out to Jonathan Kiani, Andrew of Byland. So you doing this morning? It's your birthday today from members of the family. They're taking the time to wish you a great day today on your birthday. What about Franslin Lessie of Victoria St. Mark. Franslin, good morning. How are you? Happy birthday. Uh, greetings going out to her this morning from her mom, Deborah, her children, her father, Francis, a uh, dear sister of hers, that's uh, Francisco, and uh, all the other members of the family shouting out this morning. Also saying good morning to Sherian uh, Fiodor of Monk Panassas in St. George. Good morning. Uh, uh, greetings going out to her this morning from her husband, that's Everson. Employees, especially Marilyn and uh, Miss Evelyn Smith, wishing her a happy birthday today. Day. Let's say good morning to Aubrey Phillip of St. Paul's in St. George. And uh, greetings going out uh, to him this morning from his mom, that's Shamelli, uh, his dad, uh, and uh, that's the Devon the Britain, uh, sister, and other members of the family. And uh, is it final? No, not final yet. Let's say good morning to Keisha Cox of La Mode in St. George. Keisha, good morning. How are you? Uh, family members and friends wishing all the best on her birthday today. Don't forget a dear friend, that's Paula, uh, wishing her a great day today on her birthday. Benedict Eli. Yes, also known as Jimmy and wrong turn of Gorbis State. Good morning uh, from Isabella Benjamin, a.k.a. Bella and family. And finally on the list this morning, I'm bringing a sign of relief there. Uh, there's a couple on the list this morning celebrating their anniversary. 36 years of Marital Bliss. And that's, that's Ira and Bernadine Julian of Grand Dance in St. George. Yes, 36 years of Marital Bliss, man. Want to wish you folks a happy, happy, happy anniversary. Hey, Gary, that's a list this morning. Pretty lengthy list there. And I want to wish all Doesn't the folks who are Yeah, it's, it's, it was long. We, we're talking almost close to 60 names. And I still haven't even touched those who send the uh, greetings via, of course, the, the WhatsApp. Haven't even touched that. But you know, as the morning progresses, promise I will do that. Uh, I think I'm seeing one just popping in. I'll just do it as we in that particular mood. Let's say good morning to Jacqueline Charge out there in Brooklyn. Uh, Jacqueline, good morning. Uh, Greetings going on to this morning from her children. Uh, yes. So, Gary, back. Good morning, Grenada here on K105, uh, Hot 98. Uh, it's G Square. Don't forget, you can always send us your uh, uh, your WhatsApp messages at 435-2041 or 435-7517. Those are the numbers. Uh, keep them close to you. And, Gary, we did try that trivia, this that 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 little bit of riddle trivia, but that riddle did, did this morning. Did we get any I'm seeing a couple of people did 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 of course send in the answers. We have what at least ten persons this morning via WhatsApp. Away the answer, yeah, I gave it away. 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 <laughs> gave it away. Man, my bad the, the on that. This morning was <laughs> it looks green. It opens red. What you eat is red. Mm -hmm. What you spit out is black. What am I? That was your riddle this morning, Al. 
who are the how many how many correct answers we i'm have seeing all of these 10 individuals uh pop the answer up this morning and it's watermelon what's the answer what's watermelon watermelon watermelon, watermelon. I, forget, I forget because you give it away. yeah i give it away that's, that's, so i mean we yeah, got yeah, some I mean, keen listeners over you know guy you know folks that listen with you. <laughs> you know folks who who listen keenly so you, you you can't slip up at all you make that little slip, and then you know what happens. Someone absorbs that really, 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 really yeah. quickly, man. Anyway, it's it's all good. It's all good. It's it's what we call clean fun, uh, per se. You know, it's yeah. it's clean fun. So, uh, what a melon, yeah. Uh, we're going to get into a premiere program here on Good Morning Grenada. As you know, we are getting ready for our independence celebration. We will be celebrating. Hey, GT, you know how many years we'll be celebrating uh, as an yeah. independent nation? Yeah. I wonder if folks could actually see it in, the back, in, the, in my background this morning. No, it's, it's a little off camera. Oh, but we're yeah, celebrating right 48 years as an independent nation, Gary. Uh. Right. So we've decided to put together a series of programs, mm -hmm. you know, chronicling, if you will, you know, timelining, if you will, uh, or, or the road to independence. Yeah. So this program is called On the Road to Independence, and uh, today premieres the very first one. And we definitely hope you enjoy because it's all about this sweet little rock of ours called Grenada Caracou and P.D. Markey. Mm. So let's, let's of course, uh, hit it off this morning here on uh, K105 on the road to independence. Let's, let's take a listen up to it. Of course, if those of you viewing via GBN TV may also be able to uh, take a peek at it. Uh, let me see if I can get that rolling off there for you. And uh, we should be able to uh, get that up and running this morning for some reason or the other. Seems a little bit an issue in terms of the, that audio feed for it, Gary. But um, I'm actually, uh, um, I'm not getting that audio feed for it for some reason or the other. I'm not sure what's the problem. But um, never right. the, nevertheless, uh, nevertheless. That's the case then? If that's the case, then we'll get back to that in a short shot, wouldn't you say? Yeah, we'll get back to that shortly. Uh, it should be, you know, it should be uh, running. It's, it's actually running before me, but somehow I am not getting an, an, an audio feed for it for some reason. Yeah, I'm not sure why. Why, 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 uh, I don't know. Well, as we saw that, uh, mm -hmm. let's uh, go to our featured artist this morning. Master Control, line it up. Our featured artist this morning. Mm -hmm. That gives us a little time to do some troubleshooting so we can get back to our featured program here this morning. So let's go into our featured featured artist this morning. Uh, big up to Christy Dells. She is actually the wife of renowned Hobbelist here in Grand Caracol and Petey Martin. Yeah.
Uh, Chrissy, Chrissy, Chrissy uh, Dells there, of course, a great local uh, production. Uh, they also, would you would you agree with me with that? Great local production Love, in terms of song, video man. quality. Uh, you know, the, the videographer, um, of course, that individual who actually produced that particular video. Kudos to them. I wish I knew. Do you know who actually produced a video? Do you any any case on that? Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, I, listen, everything is, 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 is top notch as from start to finish. Mm -hmm. Lyrically, you know, visually, and everything you can possibly want in a song. All the best of luck to Christy Dells as she continues on her on her path to stardom, if you will. You know what I mean? International stardom. Yes, I will agree. And you know something about Grenada and uh, Grenadians will say. We don't stop short for talent. You understand? We don't. Mm -hmm. We don't stop short mm -hmm. for talent. You know, uh, sometimes the, the the appreciation is not always leveled out properly. You know, but uh, we don't stop short for talent. There's always so so much talented individuals in this beautiful style style of ours, man. You know, yeah, man. Uh, it's it's it's, it's um, incredible. If if you can't seem to get a clip on your end, maybe I can try playing it on my NGD. Well, you can try it on your end because I was getting the audio from my side of it, so I'm not sure what's the reason why. But if it could, if it works on your side, we go with it and uh, make a bit of a, a listen up to the information that is uh, uh, going to be shared. It's on the road to independence. Yes, let's take a listen up to that. Uh, those of you, of course, who, who probably were around that time when we just got an independence and uh, to today, 48 years as an independent nation. Mm. And uh, let's see what is it. Are you ready for me with it? Yeah, let's see if we can get it going. All, All right. Go right ahead. It's Good Morning Grenada here on K105 and the Hot 98. And uh, let's see if uh, Gary could pull up that, that audio clip there if, it's, uh, if it works, per se. Go right ahead. Don't seem to be uh, getting it also. I, I was having a little bit of issue myself, but I'm uh, not sure what's happening, but um, it still doesn't uh, work per se. So let's let's move on. We may have to reschedule that, Gary, for uh, another t another morning where we could actually get that working uh, properly. Hey, folks, it's good morning, Grenada, here on the K105 uh, G squared. And um, right, it seems like I have some audio issues on my end. Yeah, as well. for some reason, they have, uh, it, it's, it's given a little bit of an issue. So let's, let's just, uh, just just forgo on it for this morning. And uh, hey, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget, Gary. What's your, what's, um, we do have our, a tune for tune coming up. But we didn't take a peek at the uh, COVID dashboard for today. For some reason, uh, we, we slipped on that for a wee bit. So, you know, a little bit of back and forth in it. But uh, let's get the uh, COVID dashboard up. Uh, for those of you viewing via GBN TV, you will be able to view that. And I will throw it out for you here on K105 and Hot 98. It's G squared. So we see seen uh, today being the... Uh, the 18th, mm -hmm. and we do have mm -hmm. the, uh, of course, the, the updates for you. So new confirmed cases as of yesterday's date, which was the 17th of January, 
470 new confirmed cases, Grenada. All right. Uh, that's 470 new confirmed cases. Uh, there are, are currently uh, seven individuals who are hospitalized. Some, there, are some, there are about six of them who are moderately uh, uh, ill. And uh, severely ill, there's one. Uh, there's none who is critically ill. There's no deaths. There's been no deaths yesterday. If, if this, uh, of course, this update was uh, yesterday's update. And a total of tests which was done, the total amount of tests that was actually done yesterday. They had 2,000. 157. Those are the uh, amount of uh, tests that was done yesterday. I uh, would give a, a test positivity rate of 21.7 percent. All right. Uh, new recoveries, new recoveries um, is, is the highest I have seen the, the number of recoveries in a long time. And uh, we're happy that all these oh, folks wow, who wow. have contracted the virus and are able to recover and get back to, to business as normal for them. 256 new recoveries. All right. And uh, that's where it stands for now. And so overall, overall in terms of tests, so we have 115,446 tests was done overall on island. And uh, which so the total a number of confirmed cases in total in Grenada from the inception of us having the very first case to where we are now is 10,188. All right. And uh, we wish that number was not so high at all. We we we, we would have wished for that, but uh, it's what it is, what it is. And uh, there's a total number of active cases on island now in in this particular period since the the Omicron and so forth. That particular strain of the virus came out is three thousand four hundred and twenty. That's three thousand four hundred and twenty-one thousand. All right. So that's the number of active cases right now on island, Gary. Gary, what do you think about the stats? What, what's your take on the stats? Wow. Um, what, what what stood out to me in the number of people who actually were tested yesterday mm -hmm. you know, it shows me that uh, a lot of people are, you know, going out to get going tested. To get they tested. are not taking this thing. Just they want to know their status, man. Mm -hmm. Wants yeah, to know their status. They're not taking this thing lightly. Over 2,000 was tested yesterday. Is that what you said? Yeah. 2,157. Uh, that the, the, uh, the test that was actually done yesterday. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's, 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 big up to the health professionals, the nurses. That's a, that's a lot of people to be, be to, that's, a, <laughs> that, that's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. Forget about it. Man, that's a, man, you man, know, man. The, the, we, we take for granted the sacrifice and the commitment of these health professionals and we, I, I honestly don't believe we give them enough credit mm -hmm. all right so i'm we doing our part here in good on good morning Grenada in saying hats off to the nurses and the doctors and you know what i'm saying that are on the front line doing what they're doing to ensure that we get over this hump and um speaking of which oh by the way mm -hmm. um if you guys can just uh Grenada was complimented by the imf yeah. Uh, in a 2022 20, report. So if Master Control can pull this up for us and take a listen. But, you know, we oftentimes criticize the government and, uh, you know, where criticism is due, we give it. You know, but we are hesitant to, to compliment uh, the government, all right? And uh, the IMF have taken the opportunity uh, to compliment, of course, Grenada and its uh, 20. Uh, 22 report. So if uh, Master Control got that, we can uh, just uh, have the folks uh, take a listen to that. And I think it's 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 worth mentioning. All right. All right. Definitely worth mentioning. All right, man. So uh, when Master Control get that, I get that through. Gary, we do have uh, some cruise popping in port today. Let me see if I can get that information popping up for you in terms of uh, visitors to the island. So those of you in that particular industry, you are probably, uh, of course, uh, a vendor or so forth, a tour guide. Uh, and I'm assuming uh, to be a vendor, tour guide, you're vaccinated. So when you associate with the tourists, you don't need to worry. Uh, of course, uh, don't forget also if the... Uh, Esplanade Mall uh, side uh, it was uh, close to unvaccinated individuals. So if you're unvaccinated, you may not be able to access the Esplanade Mall. But the Bruce Street Mall, you do have access to that that side of the mall. So we're expecting the uh, the uh, the month in today, and that particular cruise ship have a total of 3,100 passengers on board, uh, with a crew of 1,250. Uh, of course, being part of the crew. Uh, the second one is the Marella Discovery. That's the second one, also reasonably sized. 1,350 passengers on board uh, with a crew per capacity of uh, 520. So, uh, two cruise ships in. One should be in around 8 a.m. this morning. So, in the next 15 minutes or so, we should see that very first one popping in. Uh, the second should be in just around 1 p.m. this afternoon. And... Uh, no, my apology on that. Let me get my times in. 
One should be around 8 a.m. and one will be at 7, 7 a.m. So one should already be in port. That is the Marilla Discovery should already be in port. And that particular one is going to stick around until about 1 p.m. Comes in early but uh, leaves early. Uh, we have the, uh, of course, the Le De Mont. And that one comes in at 8 a.m. this morning. And in the next 15 or 20 minutes, you've probably seen it all day in Horizon cropping in already. If not, already in Grenada's waters. And it's going to stick around until about 6 p.m. So that's the two cruise ships we're going to have in today. Uh, which means uh, those of you in the industry probably can, all, get, probably, they probably can make a little change to the guy. What do you think, B? Huh? Yeah, man, time, uh, to, time to get paid. Time to get paid. Time to secure the bag. I'm assuming secure the bag. I'm assuming the vendors has uh, <laughs> sorted out the, the, the products that they would be offering the, the visitors. You have it nicely packaged and everything and information, a little spice and so forth that you know the the, the, the visitors could uh, probably say, hey, I had this as a souvenir in yeah, Grenada. Yeah. I want to go back show family and friends and which will encourage them to want to visit the island again and show them the love. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we are known for a cruise ship. Mm, Speaking of the cruise ship, um, uh, going back to that IMF report, one of the things uh, that was highlighted is uh, the government's um, handling mm -hmm. of the COVID uh, situation. Yeah. And I, 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 despite, on, despite which fence you're on politically, all right, whichever side of the fence you're on, you cannot disagree, you cannot doubt, all right, mm. that, the, that the, the government of Greater, to this day, all right, has done a splen splendid job All right. as far as managing the COVID situation. Hey, Master Control, if you got that clip, I uh, would like for you to pull it. But uh, yeah, they, they've, they've, you can pull it in at any time. They've done a splendid job as far as that is concerned. So kudos, of course, to the government for their handling of the COVID situation. And even though you see right now, the number seem to be like really skyrocketing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the, it's the Omicron variant and th th this situation is not unique to Grenada. All right, so keep that in mind. All right. You know, Gary, we were talking a while ago pertaining to COVID and so forth. I, I just received a WhatsApp message, you know, there are folks who listen. And uh, someone saying that we, we only mentioned the, the nurse and doctors. Uh, we got to show some love. We got to show some love. Let's go to the clip on, 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 on TV. And Transport prices are expected to continue pushing up inflation, also reflecting the impact of strained global supply chains. Ms. Lynn stated that the current account deficit has widened as weak tourism receipts, higher fuel prices, and import demands from construction offset the recovery in agricultural exports. Pointing to a prolonged pandemic as the main risk, she cited implications for tourism and students' return to SGU, while strongly hinting to slow vaccination rates as a determining factor which can lead to additional spending, exacerbating fiscal and external imbalances. The IMF team will welcome the fiscal measures taken to provide relief to Grenadians within the two stimulus packages, as well as the budget. Ms. Lynn noted that the hard-won credibility of Grenada's fiscal framework can be further enhanced through continued efforts to strengthen Grenada's administration, public investment management, and fiscal governance and transparency. For GBN News, Janelle MacDonald. For uh, sharing that bit of information, Gary. So sometimes, you know, Gary, uh, we we so, they, with all everything, with everything else that is going on in Ireland, we sometimes we miss these these things. You understand? And you know, uh, nice to know that the the, the government is, is is able to handle their, their business the way that they are doing it thus far, and uh, to get that to get that recommendation there from the AMF, it's 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 a plus for yeah, us. Man, give credit where credit is due. Yes, let's give them some credit for that, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. All right. So all we're right, moving up ten minutes before the top. Mm-hmm. Ten minutes time for the tune for tune. Yeah. Yep. And uh, we, we, we missed that segment yesterday for whatever reason. Time was just not on our side. Uh, we, we had so many fills yesterday that, you know, we couldn't just get that in. And, you know, the information yesterday was, was just that fruitful, having the, of course, uh, and, you know, the, the, the farmer popping in. And then we had the junior chocolate popping in. And, oh, time was just not on our side. So let's see uh, the tune for tune this morning, Gary. You, what's up? What's right, so, you want me to so go first? Go ahead and over. Yeah, 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 I'm going to go. I'm going to, I'm actually. Um, uh, yeah, you go first. Uh, well, I'm gonna go first. Let me go first. Let me go first. Let me go first. Right. 
Yeah. Uh, we're gonna, uh, they say age before, they say age before beauty, man. So you go ahead. I, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the, hey two, two, two super artists, two stellar artists. All right. So we're going to feature Grams Morgan right about now with something called Woman Like You. For those who are viewing on GBN TV and on, of course, social media, uh, Master Control is going to throw that video up momentarily. And, of course, we're going to take the audio feed right here on Classic 105. Uh, it's uh, K105 and Hot 98, folks, as we await the audio feed. Uh, as it, Gary, is that audio feed coming from your side, or is it from, uh, uh, of course, Master Control? I am not sure if it's coming from your side. Mm. Well, we await the audio feed. When I've been getting a, a lot of love, a lot, a lot, a lot of love, we could say it in that way. Lots, lots of love for that particular song. Uh, I do have, Indeed, of course, man. our second song lined up this morning. I'm going to throw it out from my side. Uh, we're probably going to get, of course, a preview it also via GBN TV. Yes, here's one of my favorite artists also. Listen to this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Track entitled A Good Woman. Yeah, yeah.
on the show this morning, Gary. Great song, great song, great yeah, song. Man. Yeah, man, lovely. Yes, lovely. big up Good to Romain. Hmm. Yeah, what what the Good f- music. Hey folks, you can all hit us your feedback, of course, which are the two songs you 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 felt uh, for uh, a whole lot. Are you uh, one of Grams Was it Morgan? my song? Was it my song Woman Like You by mm. Grams Morgan or was it GT's version uh which is a uh, good woman all speaking about the women oh by the way. Yeah, show a lot of love to show a lot of love to women. Women are to us mm. as men. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, so we're going to go to the best out of 3. Mm. Best out of 3. Let's see uh how many people are going to vote our way this morning? The best out of three wins here this morning. So you can always give us that call, uh, 435-2041, or, of course, or you could uh, you could uh, send us your WhatsApp uh, via the same, the same number, 435-2041. And Gary, I see you already taking the lead. Yes, you're already taking the lead there with at least two individuals uh, voting for you. So, uh, so and, and that's uh, Gramps again. Uh, a second, uh, of course, uh, one for you there. Nobody for me, but nobody likes a Romain boy. Uh. <laughs> Romain tough to eat. Romain ah, tough to eat. What's up? What's up in Romain this morning? Anyway, the love of the love is us. So, Gary, you seem like you're topping off. You got all free this morning. Everybody seems to be in love with the uh, the Gramps Morgan. And it's it's a Grams great Morgan. song, I would say. And, uh, you know, both of them, uh, I would say, all equal strength there. For some reason, yeah, both of them yeah, are going to do the strength. Yeah, so, big up to your side of the music this morning. And Indeed, then, another win my way. Hey, we got to wrap it up. We're getting ready to, to mm-hmm. wrap it up. I'm going to be returning over to Hot 98 and continue with regular programming over on that side. But yep. We're just about uh, getting ready to wrap it up here this morning. Mm-hmm. So we got about uh, one minute more left before we totally wrapped up. Gary, uh, of course, nice having you, of course, jumping in with me this morning as usual, taking care of things here. And on Good Morning Grenada, uh, we get to say goodbye to our TV audience and, of course, our, the various platforms, also YouTube and uh, Facebook. Uh, thanks you for are participating, who sent in the WhatsApp messages, and who just took around with us for the uh, uh, last couple of minutes we've been here. And I uh, certainly hope you enjoyed any bit of it. Any true out from you this morning, Gary, before we wrap up? One sec- yeah, man, definitely. Uh, much shout out, uh, big shout outs to the folks on social media. All right. Mm-hmm. And I um, appreciate you guys always shooting in as always and being a part of the live Facebook, YouTube. Until we do this again tomorrow, God's willing. Have a blessed day today. Yeah, don't forget coming up to the point this morning. Interesting program. We should have the uh, leader of the opposition popping in with us this morning. Uh, stay locked on for that. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of chit-chat with him. So stick around uh, for that. So once again, this is where we say goodbye here for today on Good Morning Grenada. Bye for now. Hey.